Hello YouTube, Steve O Trucker here. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. One second, let's see here. So we're a little bit, not late, but a little bit to off the mark this morning. But good reason, we had nine hours off. Oh, nine hours off. So <laughs> it is what it is. We had a really busy day yesterday. I only got to film really twice, I think it was. And I wasn't too overly happy. But let's start today on the positive. Today is, is Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. What day is it? I'll check in a second once I stop. Because we're just moving over onto and the wee bridge to way out. That's why I'm not filming the site per se. Look a bit more that way. So I up my new uh, <laughs> light board. Yeah, so I'm sorry about the funny start to the video. I said I'm just had a short break. Had a reasonably good night's sleep last night. Nothing bad, you know, nothing negative over. It's just, uh, at least I had a full supper last night, so that was good. I've got to use the facilities, as they always say. Yeah, so today is we're going to do a vlog. The rough idea plan of the vlog today is obviously intro now, which will hopefully be a reasonably sort of short one for me, hopefully. And then I may do a time lapse for a little bit. Then you may catch me um, either when we get through ship to Mellet or after I may stop and grab some breakfast at the Oval. And you might guess where at Yeovil. Um, yeah, so today is the 24th. I should have named that. I was thinking Tray 6th. Luckily, I didn't guess. So I was thinking Tray 6th for, what, for whatever reason. Yeah, 24th. Yeah, so I've tried that laptop last night. That top I've got is reasonably good. It can edit, but it's very slow. But it's understandable why it's slow. I did get it to fully edit on, or will I be edit on? It's nice to know I can, so that's a positive. But the chances are is I'll use that laptop primarily to sort out the files during the week, and on the weekend I will do the editing on my editing computer, which is that makes the laptop look like you know a stone age. <laughs> You know, it leaves it in the dust, in other words. Also, the plan this weekend is to make a new intro, because I, I know a lot of people would be thinking, if they see the intro up, is a little bit long-winded. I need to get it down to about 30 seconds. Which is doable. I can see how I can do it. Just for a bit of speeding up. <laughs> All stuff. And I just need to find or edit the music in such a way that it all, you know, lines up properly. Because originally I wanted to have it as long as a small music track was, which is about an average of the provider about 1 minute 50, and that was trimmed down as well, or 40, whatever it was. And yeah, so I know that's a slight issue that's been sorted. I have done a channel update but I don't know if I'll release it so I'm going to throw a few updates through this video in as well through the vlog yeah so everything's all good we're going down to Dorchester today with a load of yoghurt so what I'll do is I will call this see you again very shortly but before I do have I covered everything I need to cover at this stage of the day I'm sorry I'm a bit all over the place it's just I mean, just started shift on the first grade, and you know, after a short break and after a very long day yesterday as well. Not on a bad way, we'd just been racing against time. And I caught up, got probably about half an hour ahead of where I thought I would have been. So that wasn't too bad for yesterday. But I'd rather be planning a little bit further ahead than being behind schedule. 
mentally. So yeah, we are going down Dorchester. Well, obviously we're going via Yeovil, so chances are we're heading down that way anyway, so, but you never know. <laughs> and the chances are we're going to be to and fro ship to Mallet all day. Oh, for the most of the shift, because we're a bit short manpowered at the moment on the weekend, so, and the product is coming out the ear. So I better start to get cracking. I also need to text the boss as well. So I'll catch you when I catch you in a little bit. Probably in a matter of microseconds from now. Hello, welcome back. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, so I'll forward do a bit of a time lapse back then, so hopefully that will turn out okay. I'm not going to film for too long in this sequence, ideally. We'll just get down this exciting bit of hill. It's been steadily cruising along, to be honest, because it's absolutely glorious today. I mean, it's, it doesn't, it's not warm as it may look out there, it's only 6 Celsius, but it's still fairly early in the morning, 7.30. Not that it's going to warm up much more really, you know, you wouldn't expect it to, but you never know. This is just making me, well, look forward to summer. Buzzing. What 
Aussie for, shall I say. And hopefully anybody else is. Maybe somebody's like some of those. So, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Let's Yeah, so as I said, so far it's been a pretty good drive. We're going to get it up to cruising speed now because it's a nice bit of road. Yep, of course there is one car. That's not too bad of a road take, but you could have been a bit more patient and we could have gone like now. <laughs> nothing ahead, nothing, no worries. There is something ahead, but it's miles away. He would have got past me with a lot, enough clearance. Because I wouldn't be surprised if the other traffic started reacting to that. I wouldn't blame them. Because you know what Muppets are like, as I call them. Having the mental half hour. <laughs> but the problem is, the mental half hour could equal into being a major accident, equaling to somebody's potentially death or serious injuries. At the very least, delay to multiple people's day. <laughs> but it is what it is. As I always say, there always will be muppets. No matter what you do on the roads, even if you had automated vehicles, there'll still be muppets about. And don't get me into that discussion, because <laughs> you probably guess what my view is on that. Same as I don't discuss the politics that are going on at the moment, even though I say it's a total mess. And I'm not going to go any further than that, because I don't want to create this as a political channel. So, <laughs> I want to stay out of it with, it with all due regard. You know, because I don't want to make, you know, the mess of what's going on on my channel fully, you know. I may mention my view on the yard occasional or, or may of, but overall I just try and stick my head out of it because I don't want to get that mess put onto my channel as well. So, it is what it is, even if it's making me angry at the moment. <laughs> That's why I don't listen to much news of late, because I just don't believe in the media personally. I don't trust our media, let alone our politicians, any of them on either side. Yeah, so I'll reverse from talking about politics. <laughs> As I said, I'm going to be filming for minutes, but I'll film for a couple more. And yeah, so we're so on the way down to Dorchester with a load of yogurt, which travels okay. It does move around a wee bit. You know, it can drive the truck in occasion. But not the way you may think. You only start to understand it when you actually haul the stuff. You know, it's very hard as a tanker driver to say, "Oh, it does this." You can, yeah, you can probably appreciate some of it, but it's hard to actually know to actually drive it. What it actually does feel like it's very hard to describe it. With the baffles in, yes, it minimises you know the complete drive of it, but. Sometimes if there's flow within the liquid in the tank, it can cause a force, obviously it causes a force on the vehicle. Even to a degree, it will slow down the vehicle in certain situations. <laughs> you know, that's how powerful the forces are within the tanker. You know, and that's why as a tanker driver, I get, I would say angry, well, yeah, I could probably say angry in ways about people who cut, cut us up, who do silly things around us, who call, in effect cause us having to take emergency action, unnecessarily, you know, it, that's, that's the other thing I work on, you know, you know, you know, you know, you probably don't know, you never know, so, so yeah, so, been a bit of off week this week, because uh, I've had, had a short week, I'm saying this just in case I haven't released any of the other bits I filmed yesterday. I only filmed two things, I don't know if I'll release them. Um, is that I had a short week because the truck had to have a new turbo on the weekend and I had to wait for parts. So I lost a day's 
work effectively. Luckily the boss has paid me um, minimum hours for that, so at least I'm getting something for it, but it's still frustrating because, you know, that's a bit out of my control really. Not the boss's fault, you know, it's, it's down to, you know, Scandia to get the parts in. <laughs> and I'm sorry for saying that about Scandia, but, you know, it is frustrating, you know, especially when it dips out of your pay. I know, yes, equally, the company's probably equally as frustrated because, you know, they've lost a truck for a day, unnecessarily, or unknown. But these things happen. Not every day, but it happens every so often. And um, we just crack on. Oh, at least I had a long weekend. <laughs> the boss kept me at home, luckily, so I wasn't messed around too much either in terms of me moving to go and collect the truck when actually it wasn't ready, so. so. As the boss did, he phoned me up the day before pre warned me and to phone me up at eight in the morning. So I phoned him up at eight in the morning and yeah. It went from there. You know, like, sorry, you know, it's not ready yet. They're hoping for the part to be in some time. Yeah, so I lost a day, so I was a bit out of it yesterday. It's, it's, it's been, uh, oh, Friday and yesterday I was a bit, mm, a bit on a funny sort of uh, mood in a way. It's funny what what losing a day can do to you, you know, in terms of what step you are, what flame of mood it puts you in. It, it, I mean, in a reasonably good mood as well, it's just, I've just been feeling a bit out of it, you know, spoil the word, a bit behind schedule. So what I'll do, I'll catch you. I've done my tips, I might do a time lapse on the way down. I'm going to end it here, also because I'm going to be stopping services very shortly to grab a brew. Because I want a nice warm cappuccino. And if they're open, I might get something warm to eat as well. But we'll see, I might just quickly pop in and get a brew in. Get shifting down. Just to stay on the, the positive curve of things. So I'll hopefully catch you in a few moments few seconds to go you know <laughs> and probably hours in my wells or timeline in real world <laughs> I hopefully everybody's enjoying my vlogs I mean yes I, I know it's not my most popular of series I know my help and help in the duration series is more intuitive I might do a taco one today I'll see. But bear in mind, I'll be a bit rust, not rusty at it, but there'll be some things I might, oh, I suppose you could argue I'm rusty with because I don't really use that side a lot. You know, I might do a, de a basic overview of the taco today at some point, or tomorrow. I will need to pull my cards, it'll have to be when I'm on break. I'll do that because I don't want to mess around with my card. With what I'm doing and what the boss will be going. Why have you alternated yourself between working, breaking and POA and <laughs> giving the very short period of time and you know I know yes I could tell I was doing a video on it but I'd rather just have it pulled on break and we just go through it from there. I suppose I could demonstrate it on the other cards outside. We'll see. We'll see. So I'll catch you in a few mementos.
Hello YouTube, welcome back. We have just delivered to a customer down Dorchester Way. You might know this business estate, but you know, I have filmed the customer's bit, so <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, so we are on the way back up to ship to Mallet now. Hopefully you've uh, go, you've enjoyed the time lapses so far that I've phone in. Hopefully this will be my first video that I actually do proper time lapses in. Hopefully, touch wood. You know, so this is a bit of an experiment. This video, in a way, you know, trying out something new for me, which would hopefully improve my vlogging, make it a bit more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so delivery went well. We'll get back up to um, turn left. Ah, I just said it as well. <laughs> it's got that weird. Ship to Mallet. There we go. Then we're going down to Wimborne. Or down to a farm near Wimborne. Let's go, let's go. We want to be stuck here all day. Absolutely glorious day though, as you can see. Absolutely glorious. 13 Celsius already, it's about quarter past 10. We're going to get to the customer around about 12, 12.30. So that's not bad going. It'll probably be more like 12.30, so I'm going to might, uh, stop for facilities break on the route up. I do not know where, I don't know if I try out the uh, rest stop at Yeovil, but it is Sunday so I'm a bit 50-50 if they'll be open. We'll see, I might go and give it a go so the rest facilities are probably, actually no they're not better there. Uh, where should we go? Maybe Yeovil, we'll see, we'll see. I'll make mine up once we get up there. See the qualities are. Yeah, we can go straight on there. Don't have to. So it sort of goes back back on ourselves if we go that way. It's a bit longer. Even the sat nav says go this way. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do, 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 what else? No. Today is more or less an average day. I mean, we had a mental day yesterday. Just because we're having to get to two different customers in a rush because the tanks were brimming and you know the pressure was on I was the only truck in the area of ours as well which was one of the main reasons but we've done it no drop it's, it's a horse it's a horse it's a horse it's a horse She's uh, kept the horse fairly calm. We have to put a little bit of power onto her now. There we go, we're clear. We're clear. We're all good. We're all good in the hood. Yeah, so thinking of plans for the year, we've got the year pretty covered. Channel plans wise, I'm thinking on later this year. I know I've got myself a new laptop at the moment. That won't be redundant, but I am thinking. You saw that area out of there. Um, sorry about that. Um, I'm thinking of uh, getting myself a more powerful laptop though. Later in the year, after all the summer events have been done, holidays and all that has been done and dusted. Depend obviously financially, it should be okay. Oops, any qualms in not doing so. And also I'll probably get us a few good deals before Christmas as well. Go on pheasant, get in there, there you go. Yep, um is to get myself a proper editing laptop to actually edit 
properly, reliably, out on the move. Because my laptop that I've got can do it to a degree, a 1080p, but for a 20 minute video, I think it was last night, to render, it was taking well over two hours. Which, it might sound okay, but that's a long time to keep an eye on the laptop, make sure it doesn't, you know, and it's not ideal for that, you know. Now, while I have a device that can handle what I'm masking of it and to carry on doing the 4K footage, yes, my primary footage at the front isn't 4K at the moment. I will be probably looking up in that to 2.5K, same as what on the, the camera you're looking at me on at the moment is. I might do it this week, you never know. It's just all about upping the quality of the content, you know, to have a, you know, a strong, you know, be strong on the sides that I can be strong on at the moment and build upon my weaknesses where possible and, you know, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I'm experimenting on this vlog with time lapses is to shorten down the daily vlogs. Make them a little bit less monotonous, in a way. <laughs> so what we'll do after this sequence is, you'll next see me probably, I'm thinking, after we have loaded. Because I've already done a time lapse on the route down here, and I don't think you want to see one overly going back the same way. As such, I effectively had two down to here. I thought, you know, I'll do a, a chat sequence at the moment. I might do another time lapse maybe. I'll do a time lapse after we've loaded and I'll tell you what's gone on since then. As I said since I last chatted with you, which was before you all services, we obviously stopped for service play and got breakfast. Then we got cracking with another time lapse, then we tipped, then here I am. Just to give you a rough outline of what, what should have happened already and how I should have edited this. <laughs> so the countryside down here is absolutely stunning, especially when it's sunny like this. It's amazing. And this is one of the reasons why I can't wait for summer. Coming down here in 20 plus C, AC on, some tunes. Yeah, living the dream. And obviously, my sunglasses, which I've got there. Where's the sun? It's over there. So I don't need to worry about it overly. We're only slightly be going in it down here, and that's it. We should be sort of away from it then for a little bit. Yards, turn left. So how long have we been filming now? For eight minutes or so. It's past where I think that's the sort of showground area. For Dorchester. Turn left. Hopefully I'll get to do a few more videos this week as well. As I said, I've been la lagging behind this week. Primarily because I wasn't in the mood yesterday. On Friday was effectively my Monday. Even though Thursday's my Monday really, but as I told you, I wasn't uh, able to work on Thursday due because the truck needed a new turbo. And... Uh, after yeah, so normally I'm a my start week, so I'm not, uh, it's not saying a massive fan, but it's, I'm still getting off weekend mode into work mode. Go right on the round and I was chatting with the driver exit. when I was at, at Yeovil Services, so we were both waiting for, to get into Greg's. There's other bakers available, by the way. Get it around there. 
bike is probably not amused. Yeah, I was talking to another driver. He's a, he was actually the head of a, uh, a drive agency. Obviously, a small agency, I think from London sort of way. Well, I've got this card on me actually. I had a good natter. And that's, you know, it was interesting chatting there, finding out different things and that. But as, as I said to him, I'm in the first job for probably a very long while. I mean, I have had jobs in trucking before this that I have really enjoyed. And, you know, even the last company before this, you know, I really enjoyed working for them. But money talks and the trucks talks, you know, at the end of the day. So if I'm on better pay, better trucks, you know, personal decisions at the end of the day, but I feel I made the right decision. You know, I'm in the first company that, you know, I feel really, really happy with. You know, I'm pretty much 100% content. I mean, there'd be only one thing that could pull me away, potentially. Maybe two things, but the second thing is becoming a known operator. But that's quite far off down the lines if I do do that. Here's something I'm researching and looking at doing. Yes, it would involve a lot of money investment to do it. But as long as there's a slight return, I'm happy. You know. But at the same time, I'm very content with my current job. But the only other real serious contender to it would be maybe European work. But it would have to meet the same sort of pay I'm used to now on and be on, you know, quite a high calibre trucks at the end of the day and a good company, well, three different things, and also me to be a very good company as well as work. Preferably family run. But not necessarily, I'm open-minded, but what I've learned so far, out of my experience, I'm not saying all non-family run businesses are bad, no. There are good ones out there, but out of my experience so far, not all family run companies by the way, I've noticed some really good, but so far the most that I've actually fully experienced After have been. Yards, you know, certainly proper family run ones. You know, yes you could argue Preston's is family run but it's a massive business at the end of the day and it is what it is. But the smaller companies so far, you know, my experience tends to be Across quite very positive. Second exit. Especially ones that the owners still drive and they still interact with the drivers properly within. Which means, you know, they, they've effectively got their heads down, down to the earth effectively. You have to be a little bit ruthless on this roundabout where you can be, within reason. But otherwise you could be sat there for a very long while. Especially at this time of day when everybody's waking up, going out for day trips to the coast, enjoying the sun, and so on and so forth. What I'll do, because we're up to about 13 minutes already, I will catch you a wee bit later. Probably after we've loaded, on the route down, probably maybe do a time lapse there, we'll see. We'll see how things go. And hopefully you enjoy. I'll catch you in a few seconds. Over and out. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding shotgun. The feeling will change. I'm wide awake. Take me away now.
stars now The road never ends It's me and my friends These are the good times And I So we could do a 15 today, we, well, we, we can get to the customer if we wanted to, if you do a 15. Right, let's go. Sometimes you have to take the initiative, sometimes. Yeah, so, been a good day. I've had a few muppets. You know, I had one person on my side of the road coming around the bend in his in his SUV for no apparent reason. I just going a bit too fast. Wouldn't be surprised. So I had to partly go in on emergency when I was loaded. That was a lot of fun. Don't think I was recording there. Not too. No, I wasn't recording that bit. Things like did happen when we were recording, but it's probably not that obvious. But it is what it is. We're going to do our best at the end of the day. I also have done a bit more polishing on the tank. I was going to film, but it was on the farm and I thought it was proper to do it there. So I will do a video on me polishing sometime soon. Today I'm actually mainly just doing the vlog today. I was going to do more two bits, but just didn't get around to doing it. Still need to get a picture for today as well, which is a bit frustrating, but never mind, I'll sort that out. Because what I've been doing each day on vlog, I do try and get a picture during the day. I've not been in a rush today, but just sort of forgotten get a picture sorted so I need to remember to do that. I did sort of remember earlier but I was trying to find the right area to do it. But with everything that has been going on today, I've got to slip my mind. It's not been a bad day for a Sunday. I say it is a Sunday, it is a sunny day so you have absolutely everybody else in the mountain today. <clears throat> Oh, 
was even that nearly had a motorbike who was taking the corner a bit too tight going to me. Luckily uh, they quickly recovered because there's nowhere that I could have gone. Because I was basically between the block and the hard place. So, so, so. I did slightly try and slow down as best I could but if I slammed on it could actually create the accident to happen anyway so it's one of those sort of situations that it's down to the line and just get himself out of trouble. But oh well, it only demonstrates that, you know, you know, down country roads, you've got to think about what you're doing. You know, you don't, even if you know that country road, it's so easy to fly down it. Think. You know, you do not know what might come around that blind bend or you know what you might encounter. I'm not saying call down country roads but why drive whatever sensibly down them and try and remain as observant. I was a bit surprised at one of the lights normally as cars that try and overtake you they even though they're not meant to and if the lights are meant for their side they still go. tempting just to steal the flame from now to be honest. That's just just the sun coming down and yeah. This is why I truck. This is why I drive. This is why I love the job. Wow. And this is what I was talking about the other day about you see sights that make you go wow. You won't get that in the office, you won't get that on every building site, you won't get that in many other jobs. And I'm being paid to see that. I mean, some of you might go, yeah, yeah, it's just a nice, nice sort of sunset. Why are you getting so excited? I just like that sort of thing. I like being out in the country and seeing sites like that, even on dual cadres. And when it's like this, it's just like, you're living the dream. You're living the dream. And this is why I like summer. You, you cruise down the roads like this. It's nice and warm. Aircon on. Listen to some tunes. Or an audio book. I've been actually listening to audio books this week. As well as music, which I've been quite enjoying. I, I especially, I love naval stories, you know, especially like 18th century, you know, naval, uh, not just stories, even partly factual, you know, I love that sort of thing, you know, it's just, I find it fascinating. I know it's a hard time to be, but, you know, I just find it absolutely fascinating. That's one thing what I'll be doing when I go to America is I'll be going to check out St Augustine is the oldest continuous occupied settlement in the US. Which I went there last time and I went and it's absolutely amazing. I might vlog there as well, it's that stunning I might vlog. Obviously I'll probably go down to be a typhoon. <laughs> but yeah, was that nice? Yeah. Sorry, I get I I enjoy simple things. When you drive in conditions like this, it's so much a pleasure. It makes all the Muppets disappear. It just... They just go, yeah, this is why I truck. With a nice polished fuel tank. Should be looking gleaming on the dirty truck. <laughs> yeah, I've had a good day. You know, it's a good day. So I was going to do 15 today, which yes, I'll get more money to do that, but I'll do the maths, I might do, but I'm not overly used to do a 15. For me, because I've done two 15s back to back already, and it's feeling a bit, uh, I know, yes, if I just get this one that way, it's done, and 
to more beer shore today, but the other part of the argument to that is I saved the 15 for tomorrow because if I can finish tomorrow, I've got the 15 to finish. There's no really any pressure, really. I'll be an hour away from the customer. I'll head out around about 5 30, give or take. 5.45 for argument's sake. I reckon, once I'm gonna get there. Yeah. But for, say 5.45 for argument. So I'll be there at 6.45. So 7.45 we should be loaded. Yeah, it's just planning which would be the more optimal route to get there. I might go the other route that I've done with my instructor. A, because there's other services that I can quickly pull into. Halfway down, just to quickly grab a brew or whatever they need. Yes, there's services here to these will be staying tonight, hopefully. If it's not chocker. Yeah, so everything's all good. As you can see, it's just going to be an awesome drive back, you know, today. Um, the other reason I'm not too confused about going all out is So I had pictures of them going across the road. I was like, what's that? On the side thinking mentally going, oh it's tears. Ah. I don't want one of them eating me. <laughs> That would go down well. It's not often you see that either. Hopefully you saw that. You get to see things like that as well, random things. And there's quite a lot of deers about. I've seen some in the fields of late as well. Well, I think this is a summed up today. It's just been an amazing day weather-wise. It's just I'm blown away. Especially at this time of year, we're still not quite into spring yet, but well, almost. You know, on the uh, tethering edge of being into spring. I mean, we could still get a little bit of bad weather still. Not wishing it, but we could still have some, potentially, so. I haven't seen the port, long portway to Orcastle yet, so I have no idea. Might as well just go with the flow. <laughs> if it's sunny, it's sunny. If it's wet, it's wet. And if it's snowing, it's snowing. That can be quite a good area now on the white to park up, if you can get in there. As well. I haven't really parked up there, but. It looks to be quite a good one. It's always quite popular. I'm glad we're not going the other way. <laughs> Shed the masses on there, pass those deers, just to warn her people beyond that. I think people might have no idea when the sort of wake lights come on. Never mind. It is what it is. But as I say, it's amazing what you get to see on the road sometimes. And, you know, it's not all bad stuff. And that's another reason why to truck. That's another way. If you're thinking about becoming a truck driver, that's another thing. Now, driving in these sort of conditions, seeing animals, yes, if those animals jumped out in front of me, yes, it's going to be a bad day. But on the other hand, wow. After 400 yards, you know, just, just wow. Second exit. Oh, sorry, I'm just a bit in sort of a. Uh, sentimental mood or whatever today. <laughs> Positive mood. <laughs> Cross the round of it. Mark Second stand exit. this left lane, there's no point ah, well, be stupid to go in the other lane. But well, be a little bit defendant of it because it is quite a tight roundabout in some ways. Keep an eye on the white just to make sure people I'm not going to do anything silly. 
you know what people can be like, especially Muppets. Yeah, so been a bit fucked up David, I'm not too delivery, his new collection's done. I'm still toying with getting up to the customer because it would be pretty on the ball to get up there, but if we get up there, over there, from there, from there to just work out where we go and park up where they want to load it. There's a couple of options, but is it actually worthwhile? As I want to get to that farm in the daylight. It's not a hard farm to get in on, but it involves a bit of a, not a tricky reverse, but a reverse that you want to see what you're doing. You don't want to miss anything. You sort of have to pinpoint it through different things. I don't know what's going on there. Was somebody honking the horn or something? We just put our bright side on. There's no point in having a headlight on. It's still mounting quite bright. I'm just trying to work. It's probably beeping somebody in front of him or something else, maybe. Who knows? We're looking all good. Turn off because of my sunglasses, I can't really see the speedo. <laughs> There's no point in having your side lights on at the moment, it's still 100% daylight. It's not me really at dark with the sunglasses, but I just wanted to triple check. See 100%, yeah. Here's what it is. Like I said, look, we're not going the other way. <laughs> Obviously it's all the people who's had a long weekend or gone out for day trips, I reckon. That's what's gone on there. And hopefully something hasn't happened. Just keep your vigilant eye out for people who are turning around and all that. Have to slow down if people are doing that sort of thing. People do do that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, so hope you've enjoyed today. Um, I know it's been a bit, bit of a, not hopefully a too bland of vlog with some time lapses in. It's just a bit of an average day, but a wow day at the same time. It has been a white pleasure to be driving today. And it's it's to the degree that I do not mind being at work. It's just like, yeah, at work, it's a Sunday, whatever. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> yeah, so, as I said, there'll be videos coming up for Truck Fest and all that to build up towards it. may need to follow the progress of the cleaning and prepping of the truck. Because it is a big task. I'm not going to win anything. Well, I might do, but I'm not expecting to. But I'm still going to give it my best effort to make sure she's as clean and tidy as she can be for the show. And I've wanted to do some polishing on the truck anyway, so it's given, given me some motivation. And I want to get polished up for summer anyway. There's nothing beats having a nice shiny fuel tank when it's sunny like this. <laughs> yeah, and I've uh, got some more intuition videos that I want to go and do as well. It's just, as I said, finding time to do it. The re truck, not truck show, um, the truck tour video, the we do of it, or the new one, that might, I'll do that next week, potentially. Because I might have all the final bits to put on inside or on the truck. Might be some more stuff during the year, but camp boys, that'll be it just about that. There'll be the odd little thing here and there now and again I might add in or you know might put a backing to behind the, the scanny thing. Who knows? Yards. We'll see. The Third exit. 
And yeah, um, b -b 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 I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to add to the video really today. That's that fun. Thank you very much for watching. It, you know, it's very much seriously appreciated. Uh, if you haven't checked out my social media, please do so. I haven't posted much this week on there, just a little bit of my polishing. But I am trying to average a post a day or so. So I've just not been on the ball this week on the social media front. So I do apologise on that front. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing for future content. Also, check out my playlists if you haven't already. So maybe a video in there that might interest you or go, oh, actually, let's see what his opinion is on that or how he is on take of it. Is such a shit if it's point never. It's not a legal requirement, my bad. But didn't overly mess anybody about. I did do the final indication, so. <laughs> made up a little bit there you know slap on the back of the wrist that one yeah so yet again thank you very much to all those who have commented in the past mm. on any of the videos it is seriously very much appreciated i do take on all your comments as best as i can within reason and let it and hopefully you know some of them have made videos you know one of them are definitely, yeah, the ADR one made a video. I think I even made a video for another one, if I recall correctly. Oh, yeah, last night, uh, was it last night? I think it was last night. I opened up my uh, microwave cupboard area, not realising that the microwave door was open. So it sprang out as I sort of dipped down to do something down here. Then I went to go up and slam my head on the door of the microwave door. Not good. I'm alright, don't worry. It's, and the door's alright as well. <laughs> You're worried about the door. You know, but, you know, I had a few uh, foul words said, let's say. <laughs> the vent some steam. And I had a tuna and pasta bait last night, which uh, uh, I might cook tonight, or do I be naughty? I've been actually very be well behaved of late. I've only had one fast food this whole week. Otherwise I've been on, I know sandwiches aren't too healthy for you, but you know I've been relatively healthy this week, for me. So I might check out the Burger King there. I didn't kind of fancy a, uh, a Whopper or something like that. We'll see. I'll see how motivated. You know, sometimes I get there, I'm not in the mood. It's, you know, see how busy it is, if I can be asked. I was out trying to watch the budget because I've spent a bit of money this, this month already. I've got two more weeks so it paid anyway, so it's not a drama enough money for my bills, to get me through to the month, and buy us some spare as well, which is all good in the hood. And I've got money saved up for the holiday, and I'm saving hard, which is all good. We're all on track for the Florida trip. And I've got this not nasty feeling going to happen, but you know. <laughs> Be no dramas. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm just a bit of my own sort of world there, a little bit about. So I'll end the vlog here. As I did say to you, thank you very much yet again. I said, if you like what you see, please subscribe. If you have any comments, any ideas, any you know anything you notice going up, could you improve on that? There'll be some stuff obviously. It'll be a bit hard to alter. You know, I'm me at the end of the day. Maybe a bit eccentric and maybe a little bit mad, but I'm Steve O Trucker. <laughs> Hey, I can make that main track. <laughs> yeah, so I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later. Over and out.